Ah, right, yes, um, hopefully it's working, is it? Can I hear music? I can hear music, I know, yeah, I can hear music from my, uh, yeah, I uh, forget. <coughs> yeah, that's it, yeah, we're sorted, so sound must be coming through. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, welcome back, welcome back to Skipper Scale Models, the live stream. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I, I thought I'd better come back after um, YouTube started sending me threats and things that I wasn't doing enough. And yeah, quite rightly, I wasn't doing enough. Um, yeah, it's been summer. Uh, well, it's been winter, then summer, then it's coming back to winter again. And I haven't really done a lot. Been out and about, you see, doing things. Uh, so, uh, so I thought we'd come back and we'll make a start where I left off and that was building the um, the railway station. Remember that? We're doing things a little bit different on skipper scale models. We're not sticking to lots of plastic and things like that. We'll do some railway buildings. We'll do some painting. We'll do some yeah, plastic models sticking plastic together and we'll do whatever takes me fancy. But one of the things we will do, we'll do it with a pint or a drink in hand and this time I've actually got um, some Welsh beer yeah there is Welsh beer uh, because I've been on my holly bobs I've just come back from my holly bobs I went across the border to another country I went to Wales um, yeah I went there for a week in the limb the the lunar expedition module so that's where I've been and I quite enjoyed it yeah it was nice it was wet but it was Wales, and Wales isn't isn't Wales always wet? So good. Um, so thank you everybody for coming back and joining me anyway. Um, there's one or two. There's quite a few people in chat, and if you're not in chat yet, why are you not in chat? And if you do know anybody that thinks they should be in chat, go and tell them. Give them give them four. Hey, Ted's. Did you, did you know that Ted's actually live? Go and get him to log on. Uh, but there we are. <coughs> um, yeah, so um, I don't know how long I'll be here. Hopefully, yeah, I'll be here for a bit, and then when I don't get done tonight, I'll probably look at. We'll try and finish it tomorrow night. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll do a continuous. We'll keep going. Um, <coughs> so yeah, well, what, model making uh, fox is in model making guru be be beverage confirmed. He says Welsh beer there is lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, I can't do a Welsh accent. I I probably yeah. Uh, 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 no, it would so. It, I think if I did a Welsh accent, it would come out more Geordie. But this is Double Dragon, uh, the national ale of Wales, it says. Uh, and now uh, do a taste test. We have to do a taste test because um, the Welsh brewery company might be watching. They might want to sponsor me and send me a crate. So there we go. Uh, Trevor's in. Uh, the Navi's built the whole of the Settle Car Railway line. It, it's time take you take to put this building together. Yes, I know. Yes, it, yeah, I know. They 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 knocked up this station in a couple of weeks, Trev. Uh, and by the way, were, were you responsible for that um, rail derailment? Because I know you've had one identical to it on your layout. Yeah, uh, yeah. But anyway, a taste test for the Welsh beer. Yes, nice. Taste test completed. <coughs> uh, Fox says I can't do any accent. No, I can't. But anyway, welcome to you all. And without further ado, I think what I should do, I'll um, find the right camera and go onto the camera. And this is what we're doing. If you remember from last time, uh, this is the Settle Carlisle Railway Station. It's one of the buildings of the type that's seen on there. And this actually resembles almost identically to the one at the um, uh, the viaduct. Remind me the name of the viaduct. The Settle Carlisle viaduct. Yeah, the, the big the big one. Um, I can't remember. 
but there it is <clears throat> yeah anyway what we did last time we got up to sort of putting pieces together and then after that i can't remember <clears throat> um uh yeah I, I forgot where we're up to so what we'll probably spend most of this video doing is um trying to work out where we're up to um and as you know it's th these buildings go together really really e really easily and all we need is maybe a pair of scissors um, a scalpel uh, a straight edge blade and some glue and for this purposes of this I've got some high tack very sticky glue that stuff <coughs> ribble head viaduct that's it thank you Trevor ribble head viaduct <coughs> Yeah, that's that one, not too far away. Yeah. So if you want to go and see a fantastic viaduct uh, with a fantastic station next to it, go and have a look at the Ribblehead Viaduct. That's the one. Uh, right, so let's see where we're up to. <coughs> um, yeah, and while I've been away, there's quite a lot happened. Um, yeah, um, a lot of time has gone. Yeah, we lost a queen, we got a king. Um, we're, I think we're on its... Uh, uh, we're on a. I think we've got two visit, two prime ministers to go, to go before Christmas. Yeah, only two prime ministers before Christmas. So yeah, so lots have happened. Right, let's see what we've done, <coughs> and without further ado, we'll get on. <coughs> uh, Candy says he was here for the first part of this build, and I've no idea how long ago that was. Well, actually, when I was sort of setting up this stream, it reminded me it was about six months ago. So, yes, as Trevor says, we could have built the real thing by then. <coughs> but, yeah, never, never mind. It's all right. We've done that. We've done that. We've done all that. And we've stuck them on there like that. Carefully centre each of the frames within each window opening. We've done that. So we've done that. We've done that. Um, so, I think we must be up to that bit <clears throat> right let's find the bits yeah <clears throat> let's find the bits uh, that's another bit that's the bit that we don't need yet we'll pull out there <clears throat> um yeah so here we go well uh, we don't need that we do want that rear gable fix window frame w R F R three R to the back of the rear gabled wall. Rear gabled in a window frame. That one. That's it. <coughs> now these part these um, Metcalf buildings. If you haven't um, done them before, um, they've been vastly improved since I first built them. When they were like just on one piece of card and you had to cut the, the whole thing out. Um, now these are sort of held together just by little tabs and it tells you where to cut. So, you do it. Uh, so we'll cut this one out because that's the one it says. Oh, there we are. Right, I want to know what everybody else has been up to while I'm not here. <coughs> uh, uh, Trevor says that he wishes that I could uh, that he could post a picture of the wagon that I weathered for him. Uh, yeah, I, it's probably on my Facebook page. Um, I usually post things like that. So if you want to know what weathering I've done on railway wagons, after this, don't go now because I'll lose a viewer. I need all of you as I can get. Um, go and have a look. Um, right, yeah, I'm, I've really sort of taken a fancy to um, doing some railway weathering and that. Oh, so right, I need to catch up on this. Sorry if I'm a little bit slow and repeating myself as we go, but um, I, I just need to get back into the swing of things. Oh, fix the e right. That's WF3R to the back of the rear gable wall. That's that one. Yeah, because it says, look, rear gable wall. 
that's a giveaway there. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll do, I'll do some flashy, there, I can see you now, or you can see me. Oh, oh we can talk. Um, yeah, <clears throat> still, right, we can still see where we're up to, can't we? <clears throat> uh, Fox hasn't made one since he was a kid. Go and get one. Hey, I promise you that you'll be amazed at what, how good these are. They're really, they're really good. Um, you could find yourself in a whole new genre building them. Uh, it does say in the instructions not to have too sharp a knife because I think that way um, you're more inclined to slip and cut uh, really slice the paper so I've just got a used but sharp scalpel right <clears throat> I think we've got the bits now so that goes into there Ah, you see, you see what happens because this opening here is cut ever so slightly smaller than that one. It fits in there and gives it a recess. But you, you it's it's accurately cut enough so that you can line it up brilliantly. Look, and it gives it a really. When we put the window in, I'll show you again. Right. Super tack glue. <clears throat> for, yeah, yeah, Trevor, while you're out there, you need to be following these instructions and you can go out and get one and you could build one yourself and you can impress everybody. Look what I did. Look what I made. I can't get the glue out. <clears throat> it's dried up. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Fox, Ted can as well. Really, really clever stuff there we go there we've got the glue <clears throat> uh, candy gram candy sent me a five pounds a five dollar super chat thank you very much it's really it's really welcoming and supporting um what's happened is what really kicked my butt into motion and made me realize that i was neglecting you all was that um youtube sent me a, a threatening email <coughs> um this the they said that i want hey, hey get your butt into gear because you're not doing enough and we ain't earning anything from you and if you don't start getting your backside into gear and doing some more videos we're gonna demonetize you that would mean all the hard work I went into uh, 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 to, to get myself monetized and get the number of viewers and yeah those viewers have stuck with me uh, but uh, I think what it was that um, YouTube have decided they weren't making enough books out of me so unless I got my backside into gear and did some work they were going to pull the plug on me so there we are <coughs> yeah I said I said but, but, <clears throat> so now, yeah, what this, yeah. <clears throat> six months, that's one long, long, yeah, <clears throat> so there we go, there we are, see, see what I mean, it's, it's given that proper recess in the windows, it's not just flat, uh, now it says, fit one of the large red windows to the back of the centre, yeah, so that's one of these, now which way around does it go? Oh, it doesn't go that way. It goes that way. So when that window goes in, look at that. It's got the window frame. <coughs> um, which is in which is which is the red bit. And then it's got the the window recess and then when it all goes together, it looks absolutely brilliant. Just make sure it's lined up. Just make sure it's lined up when you, when you come to put it together. Because <coughs> we want you people out there to go out and do one of these. Yeah. 
when we we're we're modelers. We don't just stick plastic together. We we can do all sorts of clever things. All right. Um, apply some more glue. The secret is not to cut too big a hole in the glue nozzle, and then it you can apply it nice and lightly without it splodging. And another word for the night: splodge. Right, and these then just go in here, and we can line them up. The glue itself grips um, fairly quickly. You've got a little, you've got a little wiggle time. <clears throat> a new side quest says Fox make an interior for the village. Some people, some people that are far cleverer than I, actually do that. So you can look through the windows. You can light these up. You, you can put lights in them. Um, you can look through the windows on some some of these models and actually see that people have done the interiors and put people in them and lights. Clever, eh? Right, <clears throat> that's that. See, it doesn't take too long to do. And I think I'm back on par for the course. Uh, right. <clears throat> Glue the two grey floor card strips, G8, together. I'm reading this, you can't see it because I'm up there. I glue the two grey floor strips together and the back of the wall and the, the, with the sides folded. Stand flat on the surface as you fit the floor. Now does that mean me to stand flat on a flat surface? Ah, right, I get it. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, <coughs> Panzer makes a exciting things he makes full bars of chocolate disappear wow chocolate chocolate and beer chocolate and beer goes together well please send chocolate to skipper scale models care of ted <coughs> uh, what next right we need two of these we need the grey bits and the grey bits are not, um, they don't have any identifying marks on them. So what you've got to do, you've got to cross-reference it with the, uh, with the drawing. G8, floor cards for rear gable times two, I think. <clears throat> See, there's a little drawing just here. So when you get to the grey bits that don't have any numbers on, that's how you can keep track. Move that out of the way. <clears throat> when I finish it, will I give myself a ding? I, I probably could, but I'd have to announce that on the e-model show. So I could give myself a ding. But yeah, Fox gets a ding, so why can't I? Right, here we go. Cut these out. Uh, so, come on then. What's everybody else been up to while well, I've not been here? Well, I've been too busy lazing around not doing anything what have you been doing what have you made what have you finished what notable things have happened in your life you probably all had birthdays christmases uh, I, 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 I had another birthday uh, last week yep. 5th of october another year went by <coughs> Oh, give yourself a gin, said Barkley. Yeah, uh, I actually, uh, going back, to, it seems like all I talk about is um, alcohol. Um, going back to my birthday, I got, um, can't see what I'm doing, I got a bottle of Cypriot gin, sorry, Cypriot whiskey um, from the daughter. For my birthday she'd just been f for a holiday and brought one back and it's actually very nice uh happy birthday fox yes from fox thank you very much 
Right, <clears throat> this is a bit that's confusing. Do I stand on a flat surface or does the building stand on a flat surface? <clears throat> right. Now glue the two floor card strips G8 together and black back of the wall and stand on a flat surface. That's the building. <clears throat> Seeing how professionally and accurately I try and apply the glue to this without shaking hands. Yeah, it's the gin that makes them the hands shake. Right, now we need to stand this on a flat surface. Not me. And without gluing it to the bench. <coughs> there we go. Can you see that? How quickly is this coming together? I need to slow it down because if I get this done too quick it means we'll I need to shut the stream and then I won't get the, the viewing hours. It's all a ploy. There we go. Freehand glue application. Don't attempt this at home kids. That's it. Yeah. This, this, um, this, this video has to be marked as not suitable for kids because of a drink. I yeah, need another drink. <clears throat> uh, 12 viewers. Um, yep, yeah, it's, it's a 12 more than I thought there would be tonight. But thank you very much. If you do like the video, do please give me a thumbs up uh, to say you like it. It all, all helps with the algorithms and analogs and things like that and whatever YouTube measure and it shows that people are watching but yeah give me a thumbs up if you don't like it yeah give me a thumbs down it still counts it still counts 12 likes uh, 9 likes yeah so 12 viewers There we go. That's that. Yeah, that's that done. Isn't that clever? I fit the finished gable to the rear, to the back. And I fit the finished gable to the back in a wall. Mm. Now that must be. Is, that must be that bit. So what's going to happen then? Eventually, in a moment, I'll be gluing that on there, and it fits perfectly. Look. Now, so, so these, um, this kit itself, um, this railway station by Metcalf Models, is one of the latest uh, releases. Um, it's fairly new out. It's only been out this year. I think when I got it, when... <clears throat> uh, thanks, Trevor. See you soon. Yeah, come pop round and you can come round and see the... Um, the real thing as it is. Um, you can see the real thing and you can have a look and I can show you how to build one but thanks for thanks for tuning in Trevor I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah as we're saying that these um, this Metcalf kit was uh, a recent introduction to the range. Um, prior to that the kits themselves when you fold it over the edges like this um, to make it uh, look a bit better, um, what you needed, what you needed to do, if you can still hear me, while I look in my drawers for stuff without knocking um, cameras and stuff, what what you needed to do um, was actually paint the edges with watercolours um, because the folded the folded edges uh, used to become bare and you could they'd, they would stick out like a store thumb. Um, but yeah, this these are the new improved kits, and you don't have to do that. So, so the, yeah, they're really good. Um, yeah, so that's it, right? See, see, we're, we're looking, and it's dry already. So we go to the next stage. 
Uh, why don't I come ask a Ville Model Railway and do a live broadcast? I could do, yeah. If that's what you're ready to do, I'll do that. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a, uh, a YouTube live broadcast from Askinville Railway. Uh, yeah, short blog, travelling. I'll, t I'll take you up on that, Trev. We must discuss. Oh, I'm, yeah. yeah. Ted's outside broadcast. <coughs> well, there we go. Now that one goes on there. And once again, stand it on a flat surface to make sure it's all lined up. I'm trying to keep it in shot. Oh my god. Spot on. I fit the right hand rear wall. I haven't built the right hand rear wall yet. Hang on. Uh, ah, right. Where does it say build the right hand rear wall? This fits the same way as the other building, but make sure it fits up against the rear gable. Uh, the, the rear gable. I haven't built the other bit. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't built the outside. Right, we need to build the right hand rear wall. <laughs> Ted's live base shenanigans are always welcomed. Yeah, thanks, Trevor. I'll see you later. Yeah, pop by sometime. Um, yes, right. Um, so we need to build the right hand wall gate, right? That must be up that bit there. I do apologize if the um, white balance on the camera is flashing a little bit. You probably never noticed until I've just mentioned it. Sorry, <coughs> uh, but. Yeah, um, I didn't want to mess, it took me ages to set these two cameras up um, because you f you fire one up and it knocks the other one out because that's the way that OBS works. Uh, yeah, <coughs> um, so I didn't want to mess, start messing with the white balance, uh, but as I get more into it, I'll sort things out. I can do that without looking. Did you see that? I could cut that without looking. So that's yeah, that's the one. Just pop out. Right, there's that one. <clears throat> uh, right. I've got to try and remember what I did to the other end now. <sighs> this fits in the same way as the other end of the building. Uh, so it just, it must just go on there like that. And bends that way. That, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll take that. <clears throat> Now I'm thinking uh, rear window wall frames. So it must need a wall frame because if you put the windows in now, these windows, not those windows, those windows. If you put those windows in there, see, they look a bit flat. They don't look as good. Right, let's go. The Bobbins, welcome. Yes. <coughs> uh, Mark 3Bs says he's watched all the videos. Just don't, don't. Yeah, please comment. If there's anybody out there that is watching that isn't in the chat, do come along. Um, do um, say hello. Uh, we won't pest you for all the, your secrets and bank account numbers and things like that. Oh, we, we don't do that. Um, but yeah, come on, say hello, introduce yourself, and uh, then you can sit uh, and watch. But yes, yeah, say, uh, say hi. Yeah, we're all a friendly bunch. This lot, this lot um, that are in chat at the moment have been around for ages. Uh, and yeah, I trust them all. Most of them. That fox, you want to watch yourself with him. <coughs> yeah. 
Uh, so thank you, thank you, even if you sat there in the background and just watching, enjoying it, watching it over a brew or beer. Thank you for coming along. Um, Larry Russell, hi folks. <clears throat> uh, welcome. Oh, well, yeah, I did. Yeah, I should have gone along and seen who else was in. Uh, Trevor was in, but he's gone. Um, let's, let's find my little cursor. Where, where were we? Oh, there it is. Uh, Panzer Cap, yep. Uh, yeah, and if you're perhaps watching this on catch up and you're not running chat in the bottom, you probably don't know what we're on about at all. But yeah, Candy's in, Panzer, or oh, Skipper Scare Models, he's in obviously. Um, uh, Fox, Lord Barkley. Uh, Kevin Stevens. Mm. And if I do miss your comment, by the way, do put it in bold uh, if there's something you particularly want me want to say. Because uh, sometimes I miss it because I'm doing this and I'm trying to watch the um, the, the chat go along as well. Uh, <clears throat> be sure to smash your face on that like button. Yes, it's candy. Yes, do that. Yes. Oh, Spid, Spid's in, um, Spid's got coffee, uh, then Trevor's been and gone, but thank you Trevor, oh, uh, Candy's um, super chat, thank you very much, most appreciated, um, uh, go through the, the chat, good to see you're all chatting amongst yourselves, it's brilliant, that's what it's all about, <coughs> yeah, um, come along and chill that's it uh right i'm gonna work out there must be another bit to go on there is that <coughs> it's only the the instructions are fairly easy to follow it's just that i've been away from them so long i've got where i'm up to so <laughs> Excuse me more while I think. Thinking hard. Fits the same with the other end of the building. <coughs> Rear wall window frames, WF2. Inner wall, inner front wall. WF2, oh, no, yeah, WF2. Rear wall window frames, there we go, there they are. I'm looking on the wrong part. <coughs> so that's them two. I knew there was another part. It does say in the instructions with these things. Um, <clears throat> um, it's saying the instructions with these that what you should do is set aside an area um, so that you can um, work tidily and neatly and not lose any parts. Um, but as for me, well, um, yeah, tidy and neatly. Not really, is it? There we go. Back to us. Uh, yeah, as Fox says, if you want to, if you want to catch my attention really well, uh, is uh, at me doing at at Skipper Scale Models, and it highlights it the the chat in orange. Um, and then it does stand out because yeah it, it moves up and I got a chance to catch up with it right that's that so I've got to copy that so they now go in there is it them no it's them it's them windows
just check that we've got the right windows. Two G one, G W G one. WG2. Oops. Well, we could have put the wrong windows in there. WG1. WG1. 2. Let's do two. So this. Uh, no, that's 5. 2. See, I'm losing parts over there. Have I put the wrong windows in somewhere? WG1, fit these to the larger windows. Three WG1s. WG1s, fit these to the larger windows. Fit the larger of the single doors to the frame with the glazing above. Right. That's that one. Fit the whisk hair so it right. Next, carefully start fit the glaze into the window frame. Right. Mm. Window frame two. Window glaze two. Mm. Three of them. Excuse me while I think again. <clears throat> Start the left hand wall gable end with the doorway. Fit two of the red windows with the WG glazings to the back on WF2. Right, so that I know that they're right then. So, when does it say to stick that one? GL1. Ah. Fit the red glazing with GL1. Ah. Fit the red glazing and the door with the small windows. No. I think I've done something wrong here. I think <coughs> that that piece there shouldn't be on there. That bit. <sighs> uh. The good thing about card is when you bugger things up, you can tape things together. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Let, let's put that theory to the test. <clears throat> uh, because I should I should have waited and done that. <clears throat> Yeah, well, as you see now, because it's live, um, you can see all the mistakes as they happen. So now I've got to find a way to to get that off there. Oh no! Hopefully, I didn't put too much glue on it. It should separate with a sharp knife. Or, I don't think anybody would noticed that. That's WG2. Fit the red glazing window with GL1. I don't think anybody's going to notice. If, yeah. <coughs> If I if I glue the the wrong window in place, will you tell anyone? 
I don't think anybody annoys, but that I still need. I still think I need to take that off because it's the wrong window. It, well, it's not the wrong window. I just put it on in the wrong order. <clears throat> I think we've. I think we've salvaged it. think <sighs> there we've done it and we've saved the day now that that there is WG2 that goes right we can now get back on track because we jumped too far ahead <coughs> right Ted does not make mistakes, I make decisions. Yes, I, I actually did that mistake um, deliberately um, just to show you what happens when you do make mistakes with these kits and how to correct them. Um, so it was, it was all planned. <coughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was all planned. It was part of the um, learning experience. So now we can glue the windows onto here. <clears throat> that there can go on there like that and nobody will ever know. See? Nobody's ever going to know. <coughs> and this one too. Bit of glue. Uh, and on the next videos I will be making a deliberate mistake as well. Uh, just to see that you're watching. Um, I'll be asking questions at the end of the show that did you spot the deliberate mistake? <coughs> uh, WG2 can go on there as well. Make sure that they're lined up. Now this tacky glue you may see in the bottom here you can just see a little bit it's splurged out. It does become transparent when it dries, um, but we can take off the excess anyway. But yeah, it becomes transparent when it dries. Um, so if you've splurged a bit on too much, you can take it off again. Right, we'll just leave them to dry. <coughs> oh, we're going to need some pegs. <coughs> Fox and his ponytail. So, if it, what? Yeah, what do you mean? Fox and his ponytail. Do tell. Uh, do you have a model railway, or just like building and stuff? Um, I yes, I think I would like a model railway. Um, I've I've looked around the workshop and I've thought of a place that it could go. A little one, not a big looping thing. Um, just um, something where the the engine would run out and back. Um, but I think I, what I would like to do if if and when I get a model railway is to uh, build it as in I suppose like building a big diorama. Uh, put all the detail, um, I do all the buildings, uh, the landscaping and things like that and then build it with lots of detail in a small space and just have a little bit of movement with an engine and some locos, that sort of thing. That's what, I, that's what I'm tending to swear my way to because as I say I don't have the room um, to build a sort of a big loop 
And I also think that to get into it, like my friend Trevor, who was here a short time ago, uh, to get a layout like he's got, um, it would take me years, and I probably don't have that much time left, you know, if, you know what I mean. Or the finances, yeah, because it's, it's, it's not a cheap hobby. Um, so, to put this sort of stuff, it's great fun. Um, to get hold of some um, locals, or wagons, or carriages, or anything like that, you can pick those up relatively cheaply, like off eBay, or even um, if you go into your local um, model railway shop, they'll ho obviously have a section, they usually have a section of um, used or traded in um, stock. And it's great, you can just whiff them up, but brilliant. <coughs> well, I can always war hammer it up, says Candy. That, that, would, that would be Fox's. That would, yeah, that would be Fox. He can war hammer it up. Uh, but yeah, um, they, uh, sorry, I'm just lost my concentration there. Yeah, even these things, um, these buildings, like the when we put this together, it'll be um, like pristine. Um, yeah, you could add some of these. I do have a little cottage that I bought. This will be subject. This will be subject of um, another um, video build. Excuse, excuse the rattling while I get it out. Uh, this this cottage is um, made from um, MDF and it, it fits together basically like this uh, but um, it's railway scale it's H or double O scale uh, 172nd I think I think that's the scale uh, and what I think I'd do with this I'd like to sort of just do it on a little diorama base um, I'm going to turn it it's a cottage but I plan to turn it into a, a pub, um, make a little pub garden, um, uh, find a car to go outside perhaps, um, uh, and do it like that. Uh, because because it comes plain, unlike these that are printed in brick or stone or whatever, um, these cottages, you can decide on your own finish. So what I'm thinking of doing with it, um, you'll see all oh, when I when I come round to make the video of it is um, uh, whitewash it, uh, put, a, put a, go over it with um, uh, some polyfiller that sort of thing, and then whitewash it and, and build it like that. But yeah, that's going to be the subject of another uh, video build. Uh, I might do that one more of a, an instructional build than uh, a live stream so yeah so keep an eye out for that one too but th that's my that's my um thoughts and ideas on uh, going going forward with model railways so yeah so thanks for that <coughs> so thank yeah thanks for that for like the question bobbins Right, yeah, now we're back up to speed. See, that goes in there now. <coughs> so, a little bit of glue on here. Hi Chris, welcome to the model railway build. Uh, we're built today. We're building a station for the Ribblehead Viaduct. Welcome. <coughs> yep. Oops. I need just. 
something not sitting right. I think what's not sitting right there is the fact that something's bent. No, there's something not sat right. Usually, these fit together brilliantly. Now, there seems to be a little bit just in there, a little bit of a gap as though the cards warped, but I can't see a reason why the card should be warped. I think that might just need it. Maybe I've just not lined it up right. Grab now, I want to rescue it before it grabs completely. <coughs> Just take a sliver off there. I think that's what's happened there is because I've rescued that window. Let's just put it a little bit out of shape. That's better, it's going in now. Excuse me a moment in chat um, while I just have a look at this. I'll catch up with the chat in a minute. <coughs> uh, Chris is just off as well, but thank you for leaving me on for the views. not fitting here just brilliantly at the moment we'll sort it out we'll try and figure out why it now I think we're just we're just my fault not the fault of the kit I just lined up the window a little bit too much We've got 16 viewers and 15 likes. So who's not liked? Yep. Thank you. 
And what I'll do, I'll just find a pig. If I can find a pig. Sorry for knocking the camera. Just find a pig just to pull it in a little bit. That'll do. Only take a minute and then it'll be glued. In the meantime, we'll leave that there for a moment and enjoy another drink. I forget what it said on the um, social media today. It's only something like seven weeks till Christmas. Is that right? Is it as close as that? So what's on your Christmas list? Yeah, can, can I be the first to ask what's on your Christmas list? 16 likes, thank you. Yes, we've got that way. <clears throat> yep, all the likes count. Yeah, it's just that window that wasn't uh, lined up properly. Uh, because I'd salvaged it from the other end. <coughs> so while that's drying, we will, we'll get on and do the other end, shall we? We'll jump a bit forward and we can do this. <coughs> Gable door and window. Fix the red glazing, GL1 glazing. <coughs> right, we need that door. Fix the red window with GL1 glazing. I don't see anything with a GL. Oh, there. GL1. G no, that's not GL1. Why haven't I got a window with GL1 glazing? Fix the red window with GL1 glazing. <coughs> G1 They're all window glazing Window glazing WG <coughs> No uh, Yeah Sorry, sorry, I you can't see it. I'm reading this up there. For Christmas, I would mostly like to get through some of the stash and eat all of the mince pies. Yes, did you know mince pies have been on for on sale for weeks? <clears throat> In fact, I had one for my lunch today. Mince pies. Is is it too early for mince pies? Is it ever too early for mince pies? Right, why can't I find one <clears throat> with GL1? <clears throat> with W G with you know GL1. <sighs> right, the bit I want isn't on there. WF WDF one to seven. <clears throat> Oh, the small bits over here. Waiting chain, uh, end wall and window frame, WDF1. That's that one. <coughs> Angus Allett, thank you very much. Uh, uh, a super chat. Yes, thank you very much. Your contribution is wonderful. Thank you. Um, it's great to see um, that, yeah, okay. thank you. It, it makes it worth coming back. It's a bit, yeah, it's Angus, it, uh, it has been a, a bit of a, a bit of a long absence and, uh, you know, you, you get that time, oops, I dropped, excuse me, I've dropped my knife. You get to that state, oh, ow, sorry for knocking the camera. <coughs> You get to that stage where you're watching um, other people's YouTube videos and you think, I should be doing one. 
I'll do one tomorrow. Uh, I need to go on, yeah, I need, I need to progress something. I need to go and do um, a YouTube video, get, get some streaming done. And then tomorrow comes and something else happens. Uh, or you need to do something else, or you go somewhere, or you get visitors. <coughs> um, but yeah, it has been a long absence, but um, yes, Angus, thank you very much, and it's good to see you too. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I do apologise for the, the flashing at times with the, with the camera. Um, yeah, I'm, I can cut amazingly with my left hand. Uh, cut precisely, end wall and window. Cut them out. Uh, <clears throat> Angus says he's taking a ship to Adelaide, South of, uh, Adelaide, South, SA, South Australia, uh, with my missus and son from Sydney four-day cruise and then some time with the parents Adelaide yeah, uh, did I go to Adelaide I didn't think I don't think I went to Adelaide but Australia fantastic place if it wasn't for the distance in and the length of the flight um, I'd go back yeah <clears throat> but the only thing is Fox mentions um, everything in Australia wants to eat you or kill you and that's just the locals then. <clears throat> right, so what? Why does it say fix the red window glazing GL1? I don't think there is a GL1. There's a WG1. That fits. Let's have a look through the instructions and see where we can find GL1, WG. Fit uh, potentially red frame window frames to the back of the window frames and the red frames with WG1 to the glazing block of the window frames, WF1. Hang on. Glazing. Glazing to the back of the openings on WF2. Hmm. We'll wait. Blue one, I can't spare. I've done that. I've done that. No, not, not, haven't done that. I'm just trying to work out where the rest of the windows go. Glue the last three red window frames to the back of the windows. W5 and W6. Hmm. <coughs> I think, yeah, I think we'll carry on um, and we, we might not jump ahead just yet and it might all become apparent when we get there. <clears throat> if you can spot where they go, yeah, give me a shout. <clears throat> Angus Elliot, you've got to watch out for the laser sharks and the kamikaze whales whilst on the water. Yeah. Um, it was quite um, surreal to go to the beach um, in Australia and there was loads of people swimming, lots of people swimming with a big sign on the beach saying shark spotted in this area, bathe at your own risk. Uh, you don't quite get those sort of signs when you go to the beach or Wally, or, you know, just off the coast here at Barra. Or in Windermere, 
You know, there's no sign saying danger, sharks may eat you. Bathe at your own risk. <coughs> but it didn't bother anyone. Nobody got eaten while I, I was there. <coughs> right. I've done that. The front inner wall. Fold the two end corners round the gable walls and fix the front wall back to the back of each one. This is where we need pegs. Fold the two end corners around on the gable walls. Them and that. <clears throat> and then we need that. Right, okay, here we go. They appear to have glued properly. <clears throat> uh, there, so we now have to bend those over. And that one. And then we put this in there. Mm. This could be like needing a dozen hands. And that goes <coughs> on there. Yep, okay. Got that. Now we need to glue them. So applying glue to this side of the tabs I think would be a good idea. All right, before we put glue on, let's find some more pigs. <coughs> right, got some pigs from my drawer full of bits <coughs> oh, if you go swimming in shark waters then you're entering the food chain yeah hmm. Hmm, I fancy a bit of human today let's have a look. let's have a wander over to the human takeaway <coughs> yeah it, it's a frightening thought it's it, it, in all seriousness it's a frightening thought but yeah, when It's not as though we read about shark attacks often. But yeah, but Mrs. T Mrs. Ted um didn't want me to go swimming. Well, I didn't swim, I paddled. Just because I could yeah, I could uh, phew, yeah, don't follow me. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't go too deep. Uh, sharks can't swim in shallow water can they Whoop. put that on there and put that one on there and this just make sure it looks lined up Bring this end round. Put that there. I do apologise if try I'm trying to keep it in shot. <coughs> oh. And some more pigs on there. On there. A tiny one. Ah, yeah, we've slipped a little bit this end, so you just go to check. to look a bit like a building. <coughs> oh, I don't think there's 17 people that are in chat at the moment. So come on and say hi. Mm. 
we're going to be here for a little bit yeah a bit more yet um yes why not we'll get to a we'll get to a stage where it'd be nice to leave it and then we can i think what i'll do i'll carry on tomorrow do you want to come back tomorrow um maybe an hour later tomorrow right maybe nine o'clock something like that um because i know fox is on tomorrow he finishes about half seven eight o'clock um so, yeah we'll continue this tomorrow until we get it we'll continue we'll keep going um <clears throat> until we get it finished right yeah we're ready we're going to be ready for the inner floor at the moment uh a g6 so right we'll have a look it says yeah we've got to that stage that's the next bit where we're going to put this this floor in so We'll find which bit that is, G6. Oh well, on the bit of a diagram. It's a grey, it's a grey card. Which isn't that bit. It will be, well, let's move this bit out of the way while it dries. That bit. Uh, yeah, I've just been on my holidays to um, Wales and just come back from touring in my motorhome, the Lim. Where have you been for your holidays? Yeah, I'm sure everybody's probably had their holidays by now that the, um, the weather is setting in. I am, I am um, going at the end of the month. Um, to Edinburgh. Now, do you remember? Um, you may or may, may or may not remember for my sixtieth um, birthday last year. Um, <clears throat> I was given a gift of a whiskey tasting experience in Edinburgh. Um, so I'm going to partake of the beverage at the end of the month. I can lick him back tomorrow. Um, good, uh, good. I'll, I'll see you then. So there'll be you and me at least, can't they? Um, shark can swim in shallow water. Most bikes occur while paddling about at the edge. Oh, bull sharks mostly. Great white take seals off the beach in South Africa. Ah, right. I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. So I shan't be paddling, I uh, won't be paddling again. Right, now I would think that putting the floor in is going to really firm this all up. So I should be doing it, yeah. <coughs> well. We'll get there, we'll get some glue out of this yet. Uh, <clears throat> right, so come on, where, where did everybody go for the holidays? Anywhere exciting? Anyway, not exciting. No, was it with a family? On your own? Um, we did, yeah, other than Wales, I mean, uh, we haven't really been that far in the motorhome. Had a few nights here and there. Um, mainly local for us. Um, the Lake District's a wonderful place uh, to go. Oops, don't need that on there. Don't need that one. Right. I've got to probably get glue all over here. So we could put that on there. Turn this the right way around. And then locate this 
a lake that's a sea. Now what's probably going to happen, I'll glue it to the bench. This will come in handy. No, it won't. I've got to try and remember not to get glue on the finished, on the out, on the uh, finished outside. It's all right on the grey bit because that'll be covered. Well, so the glue does grab quite quickly, um, so it works fairly well. And what I would say it's almost as quick at times as super glue. It works really quickly. Let's rub this off here. Ah. Ah. Well, if anybody's watch, as I say, if anybody's watching, I've just appeared on their. Um, YouTube recommended people to watch and you've come along to see what it's all about. Welcome. Yeah, um, I'm building a Metcalf um, uh, construction kit, card construction kit, uh, primarily for model railways, but it doesn't have to be. Um, well, actually, it'd be quite nice to do something like this is just in a uh, a, a diorama separate to a railway and uh, make your own scene with it. Really good kits. I'm not not connected with Metcalf models um, in any way. Um, just had seen them and thought well, I'd like to have another go at them. Um, a lot of Barclays been visiting the family in Cleavis and Port Lifile. Ooh. Pulton the file. It's on the Lancashire course, isn't it? Pulton. Right. There we are. See? See how quickly it goes together and it? it's sort of really firmed it all up. Looks a bit like a church now, doesn't it? Oh can this bought a new cutting mat and find myself putting top of it so as not to mess it up. Ah uh, yep. If I was to turn this cutting mat over, Candy, it's covered in paint. I thought what I would do, uh, because I do a, you know, or I did, I do, I do a bit of um, YouTubing, videoing, and looking at, you know, using the cutting mat. I thought what would do would be nice to have a nice cre green and clean cutting mat. And it would show off the work. Um, to the standards that I expect but it doesn't stay clean very long. You either glue something to it, spill something on it, spill thinners on it and it wipes off all the grids. Yeah. Oh. Bobbins is going to buy a new watch tomorrow. Oh, It has to be tech. Yeah, you can't just buy a watch and it not sort of keep your heart going and measure your footsteps and things like that. Um, yeah, watches are not, yeah, you don't just tell the time with a watch anymore. In fact, half the time I spend using my phone to see what time it is. Right, I've just realised that there is a, when I cut the window out before, there's a little bit of a red, um, Yeah, we need to get rid of that because the wall won't fit in soon when we get to it. Just need to keep an eye on all the corners that are stuck in well. You can, if you want, I suppose you could just back up, reinforce the edges with a bead of glue around. I 
Let's say it goes clear. Um, so if you did look through the windows, you probably wouldn't see it anyway. And we'll be out in the instructions. Ah, right. <clears throat> And I think we'll do down here as well. Probably not necessarily this, but um, yeah, I've got the glue, so why not? It's just like, I suppose it's um, like doing some grouting around the bath. It just uh, supports the floor. As it's quite structural, this bit in the floor, it's sort of really going to start and hold it together. Just check it's all nice and flat. Brilliant. Looking good. <coughs> uh, I like Bobbins likes a big heavy watch with dials and knobs. 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 Yeah, I must admit, there's something about a chunky watch in the, with the dials that turn on the outside and lots of. Chris is the man to speak to about watches. He's the watch man. <clears throat> dividing walls. Grey card G9 inner dividing walls. Grey card G9 inner dividing walls. Let's have a look which one that is. <clears throat> G9 inner walls for main building. There. So it would be that one. G9. So it needs that and that. Let's put that out of the way to let it dry. Keep your workbench clean. Um, I, I've also been busy at work as well in my absence. We've had quite a busy summer. Um, we had a drop on the floor. Mm. Yeah. We've had some stars at the museum as well, um, some celebrities. Yesterday was a um, Paul Whitehouse. Um, he was at the jetty doing some filming for a new, uh, well, not for, he was, was doing filming for a, a TV um, documentary, uh, soon to be on BBC Two. Great fella. <coughs> um, yeah, nice and chatty, real funny guy, just like you see him on the telly. Right, this one. Um... We need. Uh, we've also had um, Susan Kalman there. Right, that goes in there like that. Just want to try it first. Now Susan Kalman was there. Well, she's been along. Uh, do some filming. So yeah, the, the the jetty, the place where I work. If you haven't seen where I work. Um, you want to go along to Skipper Scale Models where I've done a, a video um, showing you around the museum. Yeah, so keep a look out for it on TV. Um, I was rib driver yesterday for the uh, camera crew that did all the filming. 
Um, it was a nice thing to watch happening behind the scenes of the BBC. Was that filming thing for the White House and Mortimer to go fishing? It wasn't, no. Um, I originally thought it was when I was told he was coming. Um, I thought it was for the fishing programme. But um, it was something to do with um, an environmental programme. Um, about the pollution in our lakes and rivers apparently. So I'll know more uh, about it when I when the program is but yeah who's really nice guy and yeah we get the inner walls in and once again it's it's building up now it's becoming a really sort of substantial structure hmm. yeah. It sound like him off grand designs, a really substantial modern sculpture, modern structure um, with neoclassical uh, features uh, brought to life in this modern futuristic way. <clears throat> More glue, more glue. This this glue bottle, I've actually um, used it for for two kits. I'll get the other one in a minute. I'll show you. I'll show you that one. I think. I think. I can't remember. I think I did a build series on that as well. I certainly featured it in. Um, some build. Oh, while that dries, while that dries, let me get the other one. I'll show you. If you haven't seen it, here, yeah, here's the last one I did. Um, as I said, this, this bottle of glue did. Well, it's doing this kit, and it's also done this one as well. You can see how well these kits do come together. This is brilliant. This is the little row of shops. Um, any sort of market town. Um, it, it gives you um, different sort of um, signage in the kit so you can make them. This I've done a flower shop. Uh, what we've done? A grocer's, a butcher's, uh, a bakery and a chip shop. But uh, you can get them. Um, you can get this very same kit um, in uh, this stone effect so it will match you could you can make a town scene but yeah brilliant the really heavy and substantial really heavy and substantial yeah they become quite rigid quite strong buildings and it everything's included um the um footpath uh the the canopy on this one though it was extra um but really nice really nice kit see Really detailed, brilliant. So yeah, go build one. What? Right. <coughs> so that's that one. Yeah, um, that's got in there. So we're getting nicely together and supported. Now, once the roof goes on as well, it's uh, we can see more. Right now, the bit that's confusing us: these windows. Mm. We've got that, and we're I've lost the door. Hang on, where's the door gone? Uh, there, there's the door. So that goes in there now we need a window it says fix the red window 
with GL1 glazing. We haven't got a GL1 glazing. <coughs> WG1 glazing and that. Now then, that won't fit, that won't fit, that fits, that fits, that doesn't fit, nor does that, and then two certainly won't. So the only bits we've got left is... Mm. <coughs> Attach the red, two red window frames to the back of the window frames. Right, I think what we'll do, we'll leave that for the moment. And we'll do this. Yep. <coughs> right, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do this by a process of elimination and we'll end up with one window it will fit. Yep, we'll do that. So let's put these to one side safely. Have a drink. We know that goes with that. So now what we want to do <coughs> is find out some more parts. There's two doors here. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Right, there's two of these, the front right hand gable and a left hand gable. So we could take both of them out. No, we won't. We'll take one out, otherwise we'll forget which is which. Could the missing window perhaps be still in the packet? No, what I actually think is, um, I'm beginning to think that it's probably a typo and it should actually be WG1. But I think by process of elimination we'll get there in the end and find out which one it is. Um, but yeah, you, you're quite right Panzer, I've, I've, I've looked around and yeah, there's nothing left in the packet. <coughs> and it's not the beer. <coughs> right, so that's that one. Right, so we need some more of here. Do we? <coughs> that one front gable in a window frame. Oh, right, we need two bits from this. So we are, once again, it's cut. A bit just falls out. <coughs> and that one. And 
Este es un... And this one. There we go. Right. <coughs> so now we need those, one of those big windows and a window f uh, WG1. One of them. All the way around. Attach the two red window frames to the back of the window frames W3F, that's that one, and the red frames with WG1 and glazing to the back. <coughs> right. And what we'll do, we'll have a look at getting these gables on and then we might call it a night and I'll have another go at it tomorrow. That's that one. Turn it over, I'll look at the other side. Try not to smear glue round it. Very cathedral like these railway buildings. I wonder if they built a new station today that would um, they would be on the same sort of grandeur. By, by tomorrow, what I'll do by tomorrow night, I'll see if I can find some pictures of the uh, actual station. I think I showed them last time. Um, but we'll uh, have some pictures of the real thing just to compare it to. That's all too. Now, yeah. <clears throat> now fix the window frames behind the appropriate openings in the two gabled left and right hand walls. <coughs> yeah, so we could have cut them out, we, we couldn't mistake them because they're left and right. A dot there, bit more. just for that bit, and that could go on there. All lines up, check the front. You can see here it lines up with the apex of the gable. I'm sure that will come in later as it probably yeah it doubles up that thickness so that the um so the roof can go on so that's that one <coughs> Ooh, right what next that bends in like that and that bends in like that So, right, hang on now. We know that that and that is going to be for the other gable. So I'll go in there like that. <coughs> so that and that. There will then be... Uh, 
the door. That door will go in there. Let's just put this together. Let's just put the windows together. Door's going to be in there. Those windows will go there. Uh, fit the inner back wall. That does a lot actually comes forward onto there and then I'm just looking at this bit here. Where's that door at? That's the front. Confused. I'm confused. Fit the two side walls. So that's that side. Good job we checked. That's that side. That's that side. That's there. Fit the inner back wall again with the spots of glue along the edge. Where's the inner back wall? Ah. Yeah, I'm looking, thinking that's glazing. It's just the wall, right? <coughs> so there, 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 there. And we should have three. Yep, WG5 and WF6. Yep, I think I think that works out right that these that is that window that goes in there. It's probably a typo as we thought. WG1 will go there and go there. Then these last three windows which match them. Oh, let's find the frames to make sure. Yeah, there's the last three frames and that one is far too big. So that's, yep. Yeah. It all works out. Yes, I think <coughs> that's that. Right. Good. Uh, it's really a nice looking kit. Uh, says Kelly. Yes, uh, Fox. Right. Got us, yes, he's, Fox is off. Well, thank you very much for coming, Fox. Yeah, I won't be on much longer now anyway. Um, I think what, what I'm going to do is, well, I've built that side. Uh, I don't think you really need to see me build it again uh, as I build the other side. Uh, we'll do that and then I can sort everything out and probably wrap it up for tonight and come back tomorrow when we could look at finishing it properly. Uh, it's yeah, as Candy says, it really is a nice kit. It's it's already becoming quite substantial, um, solid. 
Um, when I when I built these years ago, they were the the card was much more flimsy. Um, everything was you had to cut out, and it was really thin card. Uh, but it's become more substantial. Uh, the card is is really better quality. Uh, the cutting and the fit is brilliant. Um, let's glue this on here just to have a look at it. We'll do that for you. Yeah, let's, go, let's go back a step. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it is brilliant. It, they are brilliant. Right, we glue two floor cards G7. Mm, I need to find G7. There. Find the right piece of card. <coughs> if you work, well, let's say, if you work quite methodically, they do go together easily. It's just that that um, bit of a typo threw me. So we want two of these. Excuse me if I just out of shawl a little bit, but. Um, when I was at Travis, um, I saw one of these kits on his layout um, that he'd acquired. And I thought, yeah, they, I'll have a go. So G7, two G7s. Glue two of the grey floor cards G7 together to make double thickness. So that's two G7s glued together to make a double thickness. Don't need to overdo the glue because it just blurges out, and then if you get too much glue on, it starts to become soggy. It's a good word tonight, soggy and splurge. So the, it's worked out, you know, it's worked out that these will be the perfect size to go in there when it's folded in. Brilliant. It's brilliant, brilliant isn't it? It's even worked out, you know, because um, this piece now is double thickness. If you remember, we, we glued that in and that one there. And still, when you put this in there and fold these up. It's perfect. Just put that there. flat surface. Try and keep the glue off the mat, and then that will fit on there perfectly. And we do the same with the other side. We'll build another one. Put one on there. Drink. Uh, but right, yeah, I think what I'll do, I'll go off and I'll build this other one and then uh, I'll glue it on, ready for tomorrow night and sort things out. And then I'll come back, we'll do it again tomorrow night. Um, I think around about nine o'clock I'll set the, uh, um, the stream for. Uh, so if you keep an eye out, uh, like and subscribe and you'll get a notification when... Um, when the video is ready for going live uh, but yeah I've enjoyed tonight um, and thank you very much um, for the the super chat it's been brilliant uh, to know that um, yeah you're still out there and I can come back uh, but yeah, what we'll do we'll wrap it up for tonight I'll say thank you very much for joining us 
Oh, but it has been good. It's been good to get back to it and um, get up and do something in the in the in the workshop. Uh, but yeah, I'll turn it off. Thank you all again. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Set a date. Set your your, your uh, bobbins. Set your watch for tomorrow night and come back and see us. And we'll do it all again. And we'll have a bit of a chat. Um, we'll protect things from there. But until tomorrow, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again tomorrow. All right. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Um, hang on. Where's 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 my little thing at? Yeah, there we go. There it is. I'll show you again. Hang on. There we go. That's what we've done so far. So we'll see you then. Okay. Bye.